everyone, it's Michelle, and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be playing with a bunch of new makeup. New to me, mostly. It's basically a bunch of the stuff I just hauled, I think, pretty much just from the Sephora sale, I think. I don't know, we'll see. There's a few things, like my brows, for instance, already done because I didn't have a new brow product, but uh, yeah, enough of the intro. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start with my eyes, as always. Let's go. I'm wearing my new hair clips. If you didn't notice, since I'm trying not to pull my hair back as much, and I'm trying to go natural. It's um, it's a look. All right, I'm so excited. I'm gonna use the Kaja Trio that I just got. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I did swatch it in my last video, my Sephora sale haul, but this little trio looks perfect. I mean, it's gonna be a very easy breezy neutral look, but it's kind of what I'm into right now. Okay, this stack is called Chocolate Dahlia, and I'm just gonna start with this light matte shade and put it all up in my crease. Okay, I know, I mean, I'm barely putting it on right now, but it's blending really nicely. That's good. And it's funny, it looks really cool tone in the pan, but on my lid it looks a little warm. Probably because my skin is the shade of paper. All right, so while I'm blending, how's everyone's quarantine going? I live in Savannah, Georgia, if you don't know. And Georgia is, I mean, pretty much opening up. Like stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, stuff like that is still closed because I think that's like mandated by the actual companies. Um, but in general, like I'm getting emails from all of our restaurants that I'm subscribed to that are saying they're opening up by like May 4th. Um, a lot of our movie theaters are open up, our bowling alleys, it's just scary. Like I wanna leave the house so bad and go places, but I just know that the world's not ready yet. It definitely um, piques my anxiety, especially being pregnant I don't want to take any chances so I'll probably be staying home until June which is unfortunate because you know I won't go anywhere for Mother's Day my birthday is May 27th I'll probably be home for that I don't know we'll see what happens but I know I'm not the only one like dying to leave the house but like too afraid to leave the house you know <laughs> like the positive though is that our grocery stores like have almost everything in stock now so that's cool okay love that shade blends beautifully very pretty brown. Um, I'm gonna go in with the like the deepest shade. There's only two mattes and one shimmer. It's a trio, so I'm gonna go in with the next matte shade, which is very dark. Okay, yeah, I didn't, this baby is pigmented. I think I'm just gonna pat it at first. So we don't wanna overwhelm this eye look. Ooh, that is deep. All right, I'm gonna take the shimmer on my lid don't judge my nails. Ooh, yes. That is exactly what I wanted. Really, really pretty. I mean, I already knew Kaja's shimmers were good because I have two of their all shimmer stacks, but I didn't know how the mattes would be and so far so good on this whole little trio. Now I want to get all of them. Pretty. All right, so Back on the topic of staying home, what is everyone like binging now? Tiger King's done. I think that 15 minutes is over, which is good. Cause like, let's be real. Everyone on that show for the most part is like garbage. Um, but now I'm like, I'm not really seeing any new memes, any cool. Oh my God. TikTok. Fuck, I downloaded TikTok and I mean, this was like probably a month ago. I even like did, I did a TikTok. Like I made one. It wasn't me or anything. It was just showing makeup products whatever um and I was like oh and I have two in my drafts that are just way too embarrassing to post but I showed my husband I was like oh this app is like a good time waster I was like for every like 20 you scroll you see one that's kind of good so you know um and then he got addicted to TikTok and he watches TikTok like all the time now and now I hate TikTok because I always hear like the songs in the background <laughs> so um my husband ruined TikTok for me but that's okay but yeah, without Tiger King and TikTok, I'm like, okay, what do I do now? I'm not really in the mood to watch anything. I don't know. I used to like watch YouTube all the time, but I'm not watching it as much. Uh, it's just like, I don't want to look at my phone, but I also don't want to do anything active. This is like the biggest issue of first world problems, but it's a weird time to be alive, so. All right, I think this is simple and lovely. I'm just going to put on some liquid liner on my lash line real quick, and I'll be right back. I keep telling myself I'm gonna get a brown liquid liner, and then I don't, so if you have a good one to recommend, let me know. Uh, I need I need something in the waterline. Mm, 
this is like my favorite to pair with brown eyeshadow looks. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is the shade Prance. It's just the prettiest, lightest blue. And even if you don't like blue, I don't know, I just find it so complimentary, especially with brown. Such pretty sky blue. Okay, I already primed. I didn't have a new primer. I am gonna be using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation today. I haven't used it since I got a sample of it at Sephora. So this really isn't a first impression because I have used this foundation before, but it's been a minute. I loved the sample though when I got it. Okay, <laughs> I was like, is it gonna come? Uh, okay, let's start with that. Oh, acne, okay. Oh, I forgot how thick it was. I might have used too much. Just looks so pretty. I think this shade is a really good match too. This is 1.20 C. Obviously just got this too. This is the Hourglass Concealer, the Vanish Concealer. I'm nervous because I'm pretty pink toned. This or this foundation's pink tone and this concealer's kind of yellow. Oh, it feels so thick. I don't think it's too dark. I know it's the shade Birch. I should probably look up the undertone. I usually pick cooler neutral in undertone, so seeing this one be a little yellow is surprising to me. I don't think it looks bad so far. And yesterday after I got it, I did swatch it on my hand and I left it there for a while and it didn't oxidize, so A plus for that. I think that looks pretty good actually. I'm just gonna take the smallest amount of setting powder under my eyes. Not new, it's the Fenty powder, um, the shade Butter. Pretty much my favorite. This I did haul in the month of April. I've used it already though, it's just the Fenty matchstick. Um, amber. And normally I don't contour, I'm trying to learn how. Um, <laughs> just full disclosure, with me being pregnant, I always say when I'm pregnant, because I've had two other children, um, my nose gets pregnant too, and I already have like a wider nose. It doesn't normally bother me, but I feel like it just gets swollen when I'm pregnant. And just wait, I'm only 12 weeks right now. Wait until I'm like 30. You'll see what I mean. You'll be like, oh, it's like her nose is having a baby too. So I'm trying to learn how to contour it now while it's still like pretty much regular size. Um, Cause I'm, I'm gonna need some help <laughs> in the next few months. Subtle, right? <laughs> I'll get better. Okay, now something from Fenty I haven't used yet. The cream bronzer. I got the shade Butter Biscuit. I'm so excited to use this. I did swatch it yesterday. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this brush rather than a sponge. I don't know. We'll see if that's a decision I regret. Okay. I don't like the brush I chose, but that's just on me. The shade looks nice. There we go. Yeah, stippling is working better. Oh shit, too much. Um. So this is only the second cream bronzer that I've ever used. I recently got the Milk Makeup one um, and the stick, and I really like that, I've been using that, but this shade just looks even more natural on me. I really like that. And now to ruin that beautiful cream with some powder. I also got this, this isn't a new product, but this is the Hourglass Blush. It's the shade Dib Infusion. I haven't gotten to use it yet. It was like a BoxyCharm add-on, something like that. I don't know, edit, add-on, I don't know. But it looks really soft and natural that's just like the buzzword of the day it's definitely deeper than i thought it was but it's not bad by any means that's pretty i just swept away my under eye powder 
the concealer is in my creases, but that happens to me with every concealer. So I'm not gonna hold that against it. Otherwise, I think it looks really nice. I am gonna put some shadow on my lower lash line. I don't want like a blown out smoky situation. So I'm really gonna just try to hug the lash line. Cute. I can't explain to you how intrigued and excited I am to use this. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. What do they call this? Strobe Light, I'm not sure. I know it's been around for a minute and then it was discontinued, now it's back and now I have it. And I'm very concerned that the shades aren't gonna look right on me. I think I'm gonna try the middle one first. Maybe like mix the two, I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. It's definitely pretty. Now I've been mixing all three of them. It's really pretty, but since it's working on me, like all three shades mixed together, like, do they have one that's more like deeper melanin friendly? Because I just don't see this really working on deeper complexions. I mean, I love how it looks, but I don't know. Questions, I've got questions. That's really pretty though. I, I am gonna put some lip liner on real quick. This is my favorite. My poor pencil sharpener just eats the shit out of it. It's the ColourPop BFF, BFF lippy pencil. I tried not to fill in too much because obviously I just got this too. This is the Kaja Vacay Shine Lip Gloss. Just like subtly sweet. It does have a little bit of pigment to it. Before I, you know, push my lips together. My top lip was less lined than my bottom. Just to give you an idea of the color. I mean, I swatched it yesterday. I keep saying yesterday. I filmed my haul yesterday, but you won't see this video for a few days. Anyway, it's sheer, but it's got some pigment to it. I don't know. I thought I was going to have to take it off and add lipstick under it, but I think that's pretty good with just some liner. All right, nothing new on mascara. This is just the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. At first, I didn't like it at all, but now I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. What do we think? I mean, looking at my face right now, I'm honestly pretty happy with everything. Let's just break it down. The Kaja stack, gorgeous. The mattes blended so beautifully. The shimmer shade is stunning. Now I wanna get like all of these little trios because how perfect is this to pop in your purse, pop in your travel bag, I mean, a really pretty simple eye look and it took me like what two minutes i mean mwah, perfect i knew i loved the bounce foundation just because i had gotten samples of it before i'm so glad i finally invested in the full size i know this had a rough start because of their shitty um non-inclusive shade range i am glad they buffed out their line a little more i mean it's good i feel like the finish is so pretty it's like a soft matte a satin matte I don't know it's not drying for being matte and it's beautiful and I know from experience that it wears well all day so super pumped to have this so far so good on the hourglass concealer too I mean it's not creasing any more than like Tarte Shape Tape or my elf concealer I mean the shade it might be a little warm tone for me but I don't think it's that bad I'm definitely gonna keep using it it is thick like whew, when it goes on it is it's thick you can tell she's thick but nice it's good I don't hate it. I would just use less next time. The Fenty Cream Bronzer. This thing, man. I think it looks so natural on me. And for being so fair, I mean, bronzer, if you've watched me do makeup on here, bronzer is my biggest struggle. Like, I'm so insecure about my bronzer all the time and I always have to, like, carve out my cheekbones with powder because I just don't want anything to look, like, patchy. And I feel like this doesn't look patchy at all. It looks like... I'm just naturally a little more bronze. It's just really pretty, no complaints. And it blended really well with a brush. I'm sure a sponge would 
be magnificent too, but um, I only brought one sponge in here. I didn't want to cross contaminate with my foundation, yada, yada. So A plus. The Hourglass blush that I got, like I said, not a new product, just new to me and yeah, it looks pretty. I mean, like a pretty pink glow. This Enigma, I'm really gonna have to keep playing with this. So I mean, it looks really pretty. Um, but I have a lot of highlighters that are really pretty and they weren't $64, which I'm pretty sure that's what this retails for. I just find the price a little insane. I just thought, I guess that this would like knock me over and I'm just like, yeah, it's pretty highlighter, but I have pretty highlighters. I mean, I love it and I'll definitely use it again, but I don't know if this is worth the money. Like, I'm sorry, I feel like I get the same metallicness from my favorite ColourPop highlighter the Cinderella Horse and Carriage Highlighter, and that was like 10 bucks, so I don't know, but it, it's definitely nice. Although, this like plasticky chrome packaging, I don't know why I thought the packaging would be like heavier and nicer too, but again, whatever. And then this Kaja Vacay Shine Lip Gloss, not sticky at all, very glidey, and I love that it's very lightly pigmented, it has some shimmer, but not overpowering, and it feels good on my lips, it feels really nice. I don't know the wear time, obviously. It's a gloss, so I'd assume not long, but really, really pretty. So yeah, that is it for my thoughts on a lot of these new, well, new to me makeup things. Um, if you've had a good or bad experience with any of these, please let me know in the comments below. If you've tried the Hourglass Concealer and you're like, oh no, it wears down so shitty, let a girl know. I'd love to know your thoughts on this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my brain is broken. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.